Hello everyone and welcome to Onik News. In today's topic we talk about the settlement money which every member of New Jeans has received. This channel provides you with the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest news and trends. Today's video is sponsored by the New Wave DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Grab their free shirts giveaway by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. So let's get it started. It has been revealed that Adore paid out a total of 26.1 billion Korean won, till the 19 million United States dollars, to the members of the girl group New Jeans last year. According to the Financial Supervisory Services Electronic Disclosure System on April 24, ADOR's sales last year amounted to 110.3 billion Korean won, approximately 80.1 million United States dollars. This represents a more than five-fold increase compared to the 19 billion Korean won, approximately 13.8 million United States dollars, in sales from the previous year, 2022, making Adore the third highest sales figure among HYBE's 11 labels. Big Hit Music, which houses BTS and TXT, reported the highest sales among HYBE's labels with 552.3 billion Korean won, approximately 401.2 million United States dollars. Following closely, Cletus Entertainment, home to artists such as Seventeen and Promise Underscore Nine, recorded sales of 327.2 billion Korean won, till the 237.7 million United States dollars. The Lift Lab, which houses the girl group ILLIT, which Adore criticized as being a new jeans copy, reported sales of 27.3 billion Korean won, till the 19.8 million United States dollars. The Lift Lab also manages the boy group in Hypen. ADOR's operating profit also saw a significant increase over the year. While the company reported a loss of 4 billion Korean won, 2.9 million United States dollars, in 2022, it rebounded in 2023 with an operating profit of 33.5 billion Korean won, approximately 24.3 million United States dollars. From this operating profit, after deducting expenses and taxes, the net profit alone amounted to 26.5 billion Korean won till the 19.25 million United States dollars. HYBE's total net profit for last year was 183.4 billion Korean won, approximately 133.2 million United States dollars. The estimated settlement amount received by the new jeans members from Adore is around 26.1 billion Korean won, till the 19 million United States dollars. In the previous year, Adore spent approximately 29 billion Korean won, approximately 21.1 million United States dollars, on commission fees. Of this amount, around 2.9 billion Korean won, considered as sales management expenses, was deducted, leaving 26.1 billion Korean won as the settlement amount. With five members in new jeans, a straightforward calculation suggests that each member received an average settlement of 5.2 billion Korean won, till the 3.8 million United States dollars. Since their debut in 2022, new jeans has released numerous hit songs, including, Attention, Hype Boy, Super Shy, and, Ditto. They have also won several awards at various music ceremonies. Last year, they even claimed the Top Global K-Pop Artist Award at the 2023 Billboard Music Awards just a year and four months after their debut. Last year, HYBE sold off 20% of their stake in Adore. Initially, HYBE held 100% of ADOR's shares until 2022. However, as of now, CEO Min Hee Jin owns 18%, and other Adore executives hold the remaining 2%. This sale is believed to have been made possible due to HYBE acknowledging the success of New Jeans and recognizing CEO Min Hee Jin's contributions. As of 6 p.m. on April 23, the deadline set by HYBE for their audit of Adore, CEO Min Hee Jin has not yet returned the company's assets, including a laptop. 
Despite the audit response deadline passing on April 24, there has been no response from CEO Min Hee Jin. It was confirmed that the response sent that day included a condition warning that strong legal measures would be taken if the contents were disclosed publicly. Currently, HYBE's audit team is analyzing the secured computer assets and considering potential legal actions based on the audit results. Previously, HYBE demanded a shareholders meeting and sent a letter to ADOR's board of directors requesting CEO Min's resignation. However, CEO Min has resisted, stating, I was notified of my dismissal after raising issues about ILLIT copying new genes. Amidst all the conflict between HYBE and Adore, New Jeans is gearing up for a comeback in May. What do you think about it? Please let us know in the comments. This video was sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Don't forget to grab your free shirt by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. Subscribe to our channel and get the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.